We pre-recorded the cold open at the beginning of the show. Most of the show is live, but we now only have 40 seconds for these lovely people. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad it's only 40 seconds. Before, uh, we, we, you've won a prize. What's the prize? Dinner at Craig's. Dinner at Craig's. Quickly, we only have nine seconds to introduce the show. Tonight's show is going to be great. Rosie Perez is on it. These people will not be on it. I'll be on it, but only a little bit. It'd be worth coming back if you wanted. If not, you watch Fallon. I don't care. <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Direct TV. Now with Direct TV, you can search and record shows with just your voice. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. studio audience. <laughs> Is my tie a bit too long tonight? Look at this tie. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little bit long. It's like, guess where his penis is, everybody? <laughs> Follow the blue shiny road. Ooh, what's at the end of this road? Is it a monster? It's a great day for America, everybody. It is. It is Friday, of course. Thank heavens it's Friday. What a week it's been with things and stuff and happenings. <laughs> I'm trying to be late night, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's like, it up. Yeah, you see this week? It's, 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 things, things happened. <laughs> Do you know in a new interview, Anthony Weiner said that if this was 1995 and the internet didn't exist, he would have won the race for the mayor of New York. I'm like, yeah, if this was 1995, you'd have your penis stuck in a fax machine. <laughs> That's what I say to you. A man in Connecticut. Did you hear about this, Jeff? Yeah, no, tell me. Tell yeah, me. Yeah, the, a man, do you hear about this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A man in Connecticut was arrested for throwing a parrot at the police. Do <laughs> you imagine how frightening that would be? <laughs> I have never thrown a parrot. During my drinking days, I threatened people with a cockatoo, but I never. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Prince Harry, you know, the, the royal prince? Sure, yeah. Yeah, 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 Prince William's brother. You know, the one who took off his clothes in Vegas. The rumours are that Prince Harry is getting engaged and his girlfriend is just a regular girl. She's just like us. She's not royal, she has a job, and she's seen Harry's ginger balls. <laughs> <laughs> ginger balls. Yeah, yeah, when he was in Vegas, he had those ginger balls and people were like, oh, your majesty. I... <laughs> It was like, his, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> it's all right. 
I knew if I kept bowing, you'd get it eventually. <laughs> There's a big movie opening today I'm very excited about. It's called Escape Plan. It stars Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. Two of the biggest Hollywood tough guys of 1988. Uh, I hope this movie has subtitles. All right, I tell you what, uh, I'll be Stallone. All right. I'll be Stallone. All right, all right. I'll be Stallone and you be Schwarzenegger, yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah, good, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> anyway, the movie Escape Plan was directed by a guy from Sweden. Now, this is true. He originally... I love this joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good. He originally wanted a Swedish action star to be in the movie, and I'm like, who could that be? Harrison Fjord? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he ended up casting Arnold because he knew that Arnold would fill theatres just with his illegitimate kids. So Schwarzenegger... <laughs> yeah, ooh me, I'm the one that banged the maid. So, uh... <laughs> Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone are part of the golden age of tough guys. It's a time gone by now. Nowadays, the only tough guys we have left are Liam Neeson and Madonna. That's it! Schwarzenegger <laughs> 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 yeah. and Stallone have made some great movies. Rocky is a... Do you know... Rocky is a classic movie, right? But you know there's going to be a, a Broadway musical version of Rocky. I know. I'm not... I'm going to punch you! <laughs> Who will punch my sausages. Hey, oh, Adrian, can't you hear me calling? Yo, Adrian, the raindrops have fallen. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, man. No, it's good. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Good. <laughs> Apparently, the Rocky musical is already playing in Germany right now. And it's doing very well. But instead of you, Adrian, you know, Rocky says, papers, please, Adrian. <laughs> Ger right, well, there's a challenge for us yeah. then. Uh, German Rocky the Musical. All right. Who feels by on sausages? <laughs> Yo, Adrian, can't you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's in the movie. He, he had uh, an amazing story. He came to America with nothing but muscles and a dream, just like me. <laughs> I read that he had heart surgery in Mexico a few years ago. I'd be like, wow, when I return from Mexico with something in my body, it's a balloon of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Stallone and Schwarzenegger, all right, they both look great. Have we have a picture of uh, Stallone, recent one? There you are. Uh... <laughs> and then uh, Arnold, you got Arnold? Yeah. <laughs> These aren't a recent picture. Stallone and Schwarzenegger look great for their age. It's difficult to say who's older, so it's time to play my favorite game, Guess Who's the Oldest? Let's play! <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is the oldest at 67, Arnold is 66, I am 51, but uh, Bruce Jenner is the youngest because parts of him are only like a couple of months old. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. I don't want to do it That's anymore. That's it? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. That was Bruce Jenner. Wow. Yeah, you want to see it again? Yeah, I thought it was a Show woman. Show me the Bruce yeah. Jenner picture again. You got a Bruce Jenner picture? <laughs> yeah, look at Arnold in that one as well. Look at that. <laughs> he looks like, looks like he's traveling at very high speed, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Jeff, if you had to uh, follow any particular tie, which one would you follow? Particular what? Tie. Tie? Yeah, yeah, like a, a, tie. a silver one. Do you think this tie's silver? I yeah, thought it was a kind of I'd, shiny blue I'd color. I'd follow it. Is, it. is this the shiny blue color? I'm colorblind a bit. <laughs> I don't blue? know. Is this blue or silver? What do you think? Blue, oh, silver, oh, blue. Silver, blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> should have gone out after yeah, the yeah. end of the thing, yeah. Let's play! Let's play. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, I'm done. That's a game we play called Never Ask the Audience a Question yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, we didn't know if we was meant to say anything or not. The guy said, don't say anything, and then he asked us something, and we were like, well, I don't know. And then I didn't even know if it was blue or silver. I didn't know. I'm kind of colorblind myself. Then the studio lights, and the noise going off, and the horse, I kind of myself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Are you going to go see that movie? Are you going to go see Oh, yeah, that? hell yeah. I, I love uh, Schwarzenegger and Stallone. Have they ever made a movie together? This, I think this is the first. Well, other than uh, the Expendables pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pictures. I call them pictures. <laughs> you call them pictures. I Hang on a second. Do you, oh, hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, you call the motion picture company. Yeah, yeah. I thought I, somebody here mentioned motion pictures. I yeah. thought I'd use this phone because uh, it's the kind of phone that people use when they say motion pictures. See? Didn't get a word, sir. I understand. Well, I'm originally from Queens. Queens, you say? Sure. Well, that'd make a great picture about a man from Queens. <laughs> okay. Can I speak to Jerry? Certainly. Hold on just a minute. Uh, hello, sir. It's Jerry. Hey, what, what the hell was that, Jerry? That's my uncle, I'm sorry. What's your uncle doing down there? He's a big-time uh, picture producer. Is he from Queens? He's from Queens, sir. Yes, sir. All right, well, uh, I'll probably talk to you later. Oh, uh, all right, same time, uh, sir. What? What'd you say? You're going to call me around the same time? What do you mean, call me around? Why are you saying it like I call you around the same time, like, like that? Why are you saying I call me around the same time like that? I don't call you every night at the same time. It's, uh, it's adorable when you try to play it off like uh, it's not a real thing, sir. All right, well, uh, Jerry, is that your name? That's right, sweetie. <laughs> did, you, did you just call me sweetie? <laughs> I'm sorry, it slipped, it slipped sir, I'm sorry. We don't, call, don't we call me sweetie at work? It's just, it's, you smell well, like the, the, the other people who lose respect for me. <laughs> they, had, they had respect for you, sir. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the horse and uh, the racist bitch. You're a very powerful man, sir. Very powerful. I, I can, I can crush walnuts with my thighs. I look, I look forward to that happening, sir. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks, sir. Still here, sir. All right. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was you? That was oh, right. yeah. I thought, I was like, wow, he's still here. No, I'm here. Oh. All right, I thought it was, because your voices sound so very different. They, they do. Yeah, they, no, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not harsh on you, man. It's cool. Still All right, uh, sweets and emails time, right? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, do you want to say that, me to do the thing? Yeah, sure. Now, what yeah. time is it, Jeff? It's fantastic tweet mail time. Time to take advice from the girly man, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to play a jingle or do a jingle? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is from uh, Connie in Chattanooga in Tennessee. You ever been there? Yeah, good place. I like Tennessee. You know my favorite part of Tennessee? What's your favorite? All of it. All of it. Yeah, what's your favorite part? The middle portion is mm -hmm. lovely. The middle portion between Memphis and Nashville. That's right. Uh, Connie says, Craig, when you throw an email onto the floor, do you ever pick it up later to read it? Uh, <laughs> this is uh, from David, who's uh, in the fourth grade at Jefferson Elementary School. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. Hi, David. <laughs> My mom says there's no, no way you'll ever read this email, but I think she's wrong because you guys are too cool to say no to a nice kid. Hey, buddy, could you go and, and get a glass of water in the kitchen a minute? I just want to talk to your mom. And you go, just a cup. Good boy. What are you doing? 
You let him watch this show? What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell kind of a parent are you, man? Yeah. Jeez, I can't believe you would do that. Oh, hi, David. <laughs> no, we were just yelling because we were excited, right, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, your mom yeah. and I are fine. <laughs> This is from Bill in Fort Worth in Texas. You ever been there? Oh, Bill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that the Bill you talk about? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Bill. Big yeah. Bill with a hat? Big Bill with a hat. That's yeah, Bill. never took his hat off, did he? That's my 10-gallon man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, have you ever had a beer, bacon, and ice cream milkshake before? Yeah, you're trying too hard, Bill. I can hear people talking back there. What, what Either that or I'm having some kind of episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is from Lacey in Sedona, Arizona. You ever been there? Sedona, sure, yeah. Yeah, that's, nice. that's where you get the turquoise. Oh, man, yeah. Love turquoise. You're a big fan of turquoise. I love turquoise. I like to I fill up the bathtub with it and then sit in and have it r remove my bad humors. <laughs> is, is that what you were doing in there? <laughs> Amongst other things, yeah. Lacey in Sedona says, uh, Craig, do you ever worry about things so much that it gets you down? Yeah, I do, you know. <laughs> and I just put some turquoise in the bath and... <laughs> let it all drain away into the turquoise. Yeah, man, yeah, just feel the vibe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Douglas in Ithaca, New York. You ever been there? Ithaca, yeah. Yeah, uh, do you, are you, uh, that's Douglas out there. He's, he's an owl, I think. Uh, who? <laughs> uh, Douglas says, uh, I'm in the mood for some pie. Care to join me? <laughs> what the hell, man? I think, what the hell is wrong with you? No. This is from Lars in Budapest. Now, Budapest is in Hungary, yeah. where they do talk a little bit like Dracula sometimes. That's right, yeah. That's uh, one, two, three. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Dracula. Yeah. This is from Lars in Budapest. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know if you can tell, but Lars is some sort of a... What's that coming to go? <laughs> That's how they talk. Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> Come on, you racist bitch. <laughs> what the... I can remember. Man. <laughs> Why won't you let me use my language? This is Transylvanian, which is a part of Hungary. Ooh la la. <laughs> That's one, one racist bitch. One racist bitch. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Round of applause for calling yeah. someone a racist bitch in a Dracula voice. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, this audience likes a lot of things last night's audience did not like. No. <laughs> Lars says, uh, Dear Craig, how do you know if Jeff, Secretariat, and Jerry hang out after the show? Oh, do you know if they hang out after the show? Do you hang out after? Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, look, look at this. <laughs> he folded this thing into a cake. That must be very painful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can do that with my scrotum. <laughs> fact is why I talk like this. Uh, actually, I'm from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Andrea in Fredericksburg in Virginia. Hi, Craig and Jeff. I sometimes fall asleep for a minute during the opening of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. In case I did, did I miss anything tonight? Oh, uh, well, no. It was, uh, it was, oh, ding, ding, ding. Jerry, don't, sweetie. There you are. Um... <laughs> This is from Andrew in Larchmont, New York. Hi, Craig and Jeff. Have you ever pressed the bell seven times? No, man. <laughs> seven times is candy, man. <laughs> you want to press the bell seven? You go ahead and press the bell seven. Oh, yeah, it's just an urban legend. All right, you press it seven times. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. And finally, this is from Darnell in the Bronx, who says, Craig, will you please ask Rosie Perez how things are going with her cousin Sixto? Okay. <laughs> Sixto, yeah, that's your cousin. Yeah, it's her cousin, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's yeah. on the show tonight, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably say, hey, how are things going with your cousin Sixto? 
She's great. I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's all right. No, she's lovely, actually. She's a lot of fun. Lo lo a lot of fun. Yeah. What the hell? Who is this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Right back. You can see her in The Counselor in theatres October the 25th. The beautiful Rosie Perez, everybody. Rosie Perez. Yeah, Tom Cruise, hold on. I keep this little stool back here in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show so that he'll be comfortable. And, oh, hang on. There you are. Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. You've got legs like Tom Cruise, too. Oh! How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. You I, look great. I thought the slit was going to be on the other side. Anyway. No, I like it on that side. If it was on the other side, the robot would be looking at it. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, congratulations, you got married. That's I got lovely. I married. Thank you so much. The, you, 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 did you marry someone called Perez and so you're keeping the name Perez or are you changing your name? And I'm hyphenating. That's what Latin people do. Really? Yeah. His All right, last so, name is Hayes. So it's Perez Hayes or Hayes Perez? Perez Hayes. Perez Hayes. <laughs> That's fine. Did you have a big wedding? No. You said that like I offended you. <laughs> well, you had a little. Did you have a little wedding? A very little. We we got married in Vegas after the Mayweather fight. Oh, because uh, I, I saw you at that. Well, I didn't see you at the fight, but I was watching it on TV. I can't afford to go to these fights, and I uh, <laughs> I saw you getting interviewed because you know about boxing. Yes, yes. Did they interview before the fight or after the fight? It was before the fight. Wasn't it was before the fight. It was doing the undercards, and I didn't know that Showtime was going to do that. And they pulled me in, and, and they asked me what my opinion was. And You said Mayweather, I think, didn't you? you I, I implied Mayweather. I, right. I thought, and Sixto was going for Canelo. Oh, yeah. How are things going with your cousin Sixto? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's angry at me, but everything's fine. Why is he angry at you? Because he didn't go to the wedding, but I told him that we were eloping, and when you elope, you don't go to the wedding. That's true. Well, you know, I... only the two people. But did you tell him you were going to elope? No. All right, so that's fine then. You just eloped. You got Actually, no, I did. I did right before the wedding because I was I was nervous that he was going to be angry. And what he said, I was like, hi, Sixto, I'm, I'm going to get married. And he goes, what? And I said, yeah, we're, we're here in Vegas, so we're going to do it. And he went, what about me? Yeah. And I said, what? And he what goes, about me? <laughs> And he told me I was selfish, and I was a bitch, and he had a nice suit. <laughs> what? He's selfish and a bitch as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was that mad at you? He was so angry. He well, was how did you so make it up with him? Did you get him something nice? No, I just ignore him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you guys still fighting? He's fight, he fights with himself. He's All like, right, okay. he's stupid. Like the other day I was telling him, no, ser seriously, I asked him the other day, does your stupidity bother you as much as it bothers me, you know? And it's just... What does Sixto do for a living? <laughs> what does he do for a living? Yeah. Well, um, sometimes he acts. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, and, and he also, it's kind of private. <laughs> He does stuff with Secret Service. He provides stuff, you know, like... Secret Service? Stuff. Is that yeah. what we're calling it now? Yeah. <laughs> He's, he works with the, the he works with the Secret Service. You no, know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. It's, it's a service, and it's secret. No, so it's no. a secret service. 
It's all right. I get it. I asked oh the wrong question. It's all right. No. It's my job. I, my job is to ask questions. Sometimes I ask the wrong question. Oh. I get a little slap. I understand. Oh it's all right. So you got married in Vegas by an Elvis or just a regular? No, no, no. We got married at the MGM Grand Tra Chapel, and uh, and my husband. I love saying that. Yeah, it's nice. I know, right? And so uh, he he arranged everything, and it was really nice. Oh, and my my girlfriend Eliana. No, Eliana and, and our husband David happened to be in Vegas at the same time, so we told them because we wanted them to be our witness. We didn't want like Joe Schmo and. Yeah, but you you mean, know. if you're gonna tell them, you should have told Six though. I'm sorry. I, I mean, at that Don't point. Don't say that. I'm just saying. I no, mean, but, no, because they happen to be there. Well, Sixto could have happened to be there. He could have got there. No, he couldn't. <laughs> he doesn't get things together. All right, quickly. fair enough. Yeah, well, it sounds like he gets a few things together are kind of secret. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so they came, well, you get married in Vegas. So how long have you been married now then? Since the fight? Or the, September 15th. Was because, that? Yeah, the Mayweather fight was September 14th. So now I'll never forget my wedding day. Dear, you'd never forget anyway, would you? No. It, it, it actually, like, even though it was, like, in a chapel in Vegas and stuff, it was actually really sweet and beautiful, and it was really it's nice. Lovely. How long have you been seeing the, the, your, your husband? I didn't even know you were dating. Well, well, I just didn't know. You don't have to look at me like, oh, like I said something mean. I, I didn't know you were dating him, that's all. No, no, no. We, we've known each other for, like, about 17, 18 years, and, uh, but I kept forgetting who he was. Ah. And, uh... <laughs> And, uh, See, that, that probably affected your relationship a little bit. <laughs> no. How's your memory now? Is it all right? Like, oh, it's, yeah. It's like when you wake up and see him in the morning, you're like, I know who you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I used to think, in, I used to re reintroduce myself to him, and I'd go, hi, I'm Rose. He goes, you do this to me all the time. And he goes, but that's okay. Like, he was so sweet about it and everything. But. Oh, yes. <laughs> every time I would reintroduce myself to him, in the back of my head was like, oh, he would make a good husband. <laughs> but then I would forget him, and then I would see him, and then I would do that. Now, how do you know if you just meet someone and if they would make a good husband? I mean, what, what, what about him made you think he's a, he's a good husband? Is it looks? Is it, is well, it... well, you know, looks and sexiness is important. Well, absolutely, because, you know, absolutely, for sure. You know, after the looks go, you got to have the sex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, the looks go after the sex. <laughs> I thought the looks and the sex came at the same time. I thought it was like looks and then sex and then... Well, that's that? your bedroom, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it was that, you know, he's a good-looking guy and everything, but he was also very kind and, and just really sweet. And also, he loved boxing, so it was... Well, just, that's true, yeah, yeah. You know, because... I'm like always on a impressed Saturday by your night, knowledge of you know? boxing. It's very, very good. You, I mean, you Thank really you. know your stuff. I thought the... Uh, in the undercard... What was the name of that Argentinian uh, fighter on the undercard? Uh, Matisse. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to win I, before the fight. You didn't think so? Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure, but I was rooting for Danny Garcia. Not because he's Puerto Rican, not right. for nothing, you know, and, yeah. and everything. But I was, I was rooting for him, and, and Sixto picked Danny Garcia as well. Yeah, so right. he was right, but he was wrong on Canelo, and I won the bet about Mayweather. Did you actually bet money? No, are you kidding? No. I I, no, I'm not kidding. No. You were in Las Vegas. It was a boxing no, match. No, no, it's no. a I, natural question time. No. I don't gamble because, you know, I was poor and everything. And one time yeah, I, I played, you know, the craps table and yeah. I put $5 and I lost and that was it. I, was I, ne I, I never, ever gamble. Yeah. Never. Because I know what it's like to be poor. I don't need to do research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I wonder what it would be like exactly. if, I, if I got poor again. That would not be great. Yeah. Yeah, no, no it wouldn't be. No. But Danny Garcia was underestimated by everyone mm -hmm. and, i think that's true yeah and he is he's such a dynamic fighter i can't wait for his next fight and he was really good you know his father's a little crazy but he loves his son what are you gonna do you know i don't think that really matters in the boxing world if you're <laughs> you know if you're if you're crazy in boxing it's it's not like people go well i'm afraid you're not allowed to fight you're a little bit crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, your pops is a little crazy, so no fighting. You know. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.
I'm here with the lovely Rosie Perez. That's quite a makeup job they got you in that movie. That's uh... yeah. I look busted and disgusted. I was just oh my god. When I went when I went on the set, you know, because they flew me in London because Ridley Scott doesn't like to um, film outside of London because he's from London, right? Mm. And uh, and so where's he from? London. <laughs> Did you like London? Yeah. Is it your first time there? No. Okay. But I like I like the but I didn't like the food. They don't know how to cook. But I like London. <laughs> But anyway, so so I go to set, you know, and I'm Puerto Rican, so like my hair's important. And so it's like I it is. I know, uh, I know, I'm enjoying it. Okay, That's all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And 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 everything and I and I you know, I did my hair all nice and everything. He goes, No, you're in prison. And I said, What? And he goes, and you gotta take off the makeup and put some dark circles under her eyes and make her look like ugly. I go, Why? <laughs> and I, I said, This this there's women who do their hair in prison. I yeah, know. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have you have you ever uh, been to a prison? Yes. Well, I wasn't incarcerated. No, I didn't think no. you were. No. I... But I was. I was. <laughs> I was part of a women's uh, writing group with Glenn Close and Eve Ensler. So I would go up there uh, twice a month and, and and you know meet with the girls and and they were well coiffed, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because if you got time to hang around in prison, because prison you got some time to sit around, maybe do your hair. And do your hair. Yeah. yeah. The makeup wasn't that great, I have to admit. You know. It's maybe the lighting you're thinking the, about, because yeah. it's all overhead lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it was it was great and and it was it was good for the character and everything and Michael Fassbender was really sweet and Oh, he's he, quite handsome, isn't he? Yeah, he's handsome yeah. and he's a boxing fan too. Is he really? Yes, that's all we talked about. Really? Yeah, and I was really surprised and, and I like him. Side. He was you know what I liked him in that uh, Quentin Tarantino movie, the uh, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. He was when good he did in the three. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really no, great. He was great. Yeah. yeah, and and Ruben Blades was there too. Oh, wait till you see him in the film. He's so good. Oh, Oh, really? Yeah, he's oh. so, so good. Everybody's good in this film, and it's a very dark, gritty film about the drug cartel and the human course, and, uh, and, and I really like it. Is it a comedy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so happy for the you that you got married and you're happy. Me too. It's so lovely, Rosie. It is. It's I lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank All right, Rosie Perez, everybody. <laughs>
I know, spend all my time on computer. How many, anyone else here spend good two, three hours every day just resetting your online passwords? That's all, <laughs> just all afternoon, just resetting them. And what I'm tired of are the websites that demand you change your password, but then just judge the new password that you're putting in as you're put, iTunes does this. I'll be like, you gotta change your password. You type one letter, it's like, weak, that's weak. That's a weak password. Really, you're not even gonna let me finish my password before passing judgment on the password? I typed in an A. Did you think that was my entire attempt at my password? Yeah, that's the kind of hot shot I am. I just stroll around with an A as a password. Go ahead, hackers, try to get into my Downton Abbey episodes. Good luck. Oh, you got it, oh. How can they expect you to put together a good password when they're heckling you just immediately? It'd be like if you're like an Olympic high diver and you just started climbing up that ladder. You're like on the second rung and one of the judges stands up, it better get a whole lot better than this. That's weak. <laughs> Maybe a two. <laughs> on Facebook, though. Mom's on Facebook. <laughs> I like her to get off of Facebook. <laughs> Anyone else have a mom that'll write on your wall but seems to think that nobody else can read what she's <laughs> written because it's on your wall? It's a magic place that nobody can see. My whole wall is like, hey, let's go have drinks. Ah, uh, let's a uh, great show. And then my mom says, did you get that $200 I sent you? Did you really need new pants? And then my brother commented, is mom really still sending you money? And then she liked his comment. Thank you guys so much. I've been Nick up. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Notice how that cat sits up there. Well, that was a good week of shows, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, quality, solid, man. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone.